I just poured out coffee from yesterday. I put milk in it. Uh, yuck. Took a swig of that. It's not very great. So we're stopping to drink Dr. Pepper. And there's a bunch of seawall and stuff around here. They got some things that they built in the last like five or ten years. But this is Joe Patty's Seafood. You see it, y'all? Just gonna walk through real quick. Hopefully they don't mind us with the camera. We'll just let y'all see it here. It's pretty cool in here. Always busy, very, very busy. Got everything you need in here. As far as seafood, wine, cheese, probably sushi. You see sushi. You know, I, I promised y'all Joe Patty's, so that's what we're doing here. Yeah. And there it is, it's where you ring up. All right, so that's the intro. I'm so glad I got you cut and I can kind of string these together. Hey, listen, we're doing this from nothing. We're on the bottom, but I'm going to show you. So it's the Blue Marlins Stadium this is where we're fishing. It looks like there's construction back there. That could help. Uh, hopefully there's not any like, you know, areas cordon off where we're going to want to fish where we're not going to be able to fish. So, you know, man, yeah, yeah. No, it was not a pause. I tell you, cell phones and me, we don't get along. So they gave us ice and everything, which is really cool for a fisherman. It's a good place in Pensacola, Florida to get you some bait. You know, sometimes the prices are a little too high. This is a lot more affordable for me personally. And we got head on shrimp. Some of it's not as fresh as I'd like, but we got bait and we got ice. And that was gonna be a big deciding factor. Although we're going to cut up whatever we catch, use cut bait too. We'll probably do a tandem rig. I'll show you what that is here in just a bit. I'm gonna get tied up and start fishing. I really dislike using these phones. So here we are tied up with a much smaller hook. You see that one and that one. Um, we're gonna catch some cut bait. Uh, then I might switch to the bobber again and see if there's something running by here that might hit the shrimp. Uh, then we're definitely gonna go bottom with the cut bait. I don't really see, well, I could cut the cut bait into strips and it would flutter. So maybe I'll do that. Yeah, well, and we can switch back and forth for bait once we're tied up for it. So, how about that? All right, so here it is. Oh, man, I got so many clips. Yep, nope, missed them. No wonder why. He baited me just that quick. All right, so we got another piece of bait cut here. I really wish I could get, you know, better film content for you here doing my best you know you hardly never see me it's on the phone it's just i don't know i wish i could do better with this but hey i'm not giving up so first you don't succeed try try again so here we go we're gonna cast it out again and this time i'm just gonna let you see ah oh, well i'm sure it's not gonna matter whether i'm far out or not And it's going down to the bottom. All right, so, oh, there's, oh, a decent fish. So I guess casting closer in was a ticket. Oh, it's decent. What we got here? All right, whew. Um, you know, I know it's a bait fish of some sort, but I really have no clue what kind of bait fish that is. There we go. So we got one. Hey, how about it? And we still got our bait. Hmm. Huh. Here's something cool. We found uh, a string going down there and it's got a little homemade crab trap. It looks like it could work. You know what I mean? They'll go in and if they're in there, uh, when you pull up, you might be able to catch them. I think we might throw it back down. I don't know. They left it. So it's a good indicator. Maybe it's not going to catch fish. 